Hi everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. For today, I'm doing my plan with me video for the week of October 16th through October 22nd and I am so excited about this week's video, you guys, because I'm finally using this really gorgeous photograph kit from Shop Jessica Hearts and I picked this up over the summer and was just kind of like waiting for the perfect week to use it. I think this is going to be um, a good time. It's like the middle of fall and these colors with like the dark, dark um, purple and blue shades I just feel like is very um, fall-ish I guess for me. I purchased the mini kit so it only comes with three sheets plus an extra like full box sheet so the first page here has the four full boxes all the half boxes and quarter boxes as well as the weekend banner here at the bottom and then here are the other four full boxes. On the second page, we have all the functional items like the headers, little things, more headers, um, sidebar stuff, heart checklist, and then a couple like square checklists here. And then the last page has the bottom washi, some washi strips, page flags, um, icons, sidebar tracker, and then some more flags at the top. So yeah, definitely um, a good size for me. I might actually have to pull in some more things. I don't know. I've never used a photograph kit before, so this is my first time trying this out, and I just don't quite know, um, I don't know, like how I want to structure it or how it might be different from my usual planning, but we, I guess we'll kind of see as we go along. So um, yeah, as always, I'm going to start by putting down my bottom washi and just kind of get that base set up so I can see how I want to pull the rest of it together. So for this week, I decided to trim down my bottom washi just a little bit. As you can see, it's probably honestly like one millimeter that I took off just because it was a little bit too big, like it would have taken up that entire bottom washi section. So after that, I move on to my sidebar. Um, I use the quote box in the top corner. It says once upon a time, and then I put down a habit tracker, which I'm tracking my running. I don't think... Actually, I think I did go running this week. I think I went twice and I was really proud of myself because it had been probably like three weeks since I had gone. And then I used a header for um, a this week header to mark my packages and then a dinners header to mark my dinners that I was going to be having for the week. I really like tracking my dinners, as you guys probably know, just because I can kind of flip back and see what I had been making or even just where we go to get dinner, um, just for ideas if we're ever out. And then um, at the very bottom, I used some washi strips that came in the kit to create that little pattern. Um, and then the next thing I do is cover up the flags in the top corner. There were flags that were provided in the kit, so I just used those ones. And then for my glitter headers this week, I chose... I think three different colors from Mandy Dreams and I started with the purple on Monday and then I put down a quarter box to mark coffee that I always try to get on Monday mornings um, if I have enough time just because I'm always really tired coming back from the weekend. Um, the coffee sticker that I put down is from Chasing Chels and then I used a to-do header with a four heart checklist. Um, I think those were leftovers from a Piper Paper Company kit and then I used a full box. This week was a little different for me because um, the full boxes are so beautiful and decorative. I wasn't able to write anything on top of them, which I usually do. So it really kind of limited the amount of space that I had for actually planning. So anyways, um, at the end of the day, I used an IEP sticker from Lily Grove Designs to mark a meeting that I had. And then at the bottom of the night, I knew I was going to be going to a brewery. I wasn't sure which one yet, so I just put down a quarter box that came in the kit to mark that. And then I don't know why this next part got cut off, but um, I put down a full box at the top of Tuesday, and then you see the color of the um, to-do list change on Monday because I had decided to switch out the pink for that darker berry shade, and I thought that looked really nice. Then continuing on Tuesday, I put down a glitter header. I think that's actually from the Paperly Boutique. And then I used a half box with a gold foil heart sticker from White Deer Stationery. Um, I just wanted to mark the day. I'm not really gonna go into that. It's just kind of something personal. But anyways, then I used another IEP sticker from Lily Grove Designs to mark another meeting that I had. I still needed to put down my to-do list for work, um, so I ended up using a full box heart checklist. I think that's a leftover from Sticker Bloom, and then I used a to-do header on top of that to mark my to-do. So really, I wasn't able to mark anything that happened after work on Tuesday just because I ran out of room, but that's totally fine because I really wanted that really pretty castle full box at the top. 
And then for Wednesday, I started by using a to-do header, and then I put down a gold foil sticker from Planning World to mark a testing appointment that I had in the morning. I used a quarter box underneath that to mark that I had to do some report work. Um, the laptop sticker is from Paper and Milk, and then I used a full box with the roses, which I thought was really pretty, and honestly, I love all the full boxes in this kit. I think they're all super gorgeous. Then I used a glitter header and put down a three heart checklist for my to-dos. I tried to cut off one of the hearts with my crappy razor blade, which I really need to replace with one of those cool slice knives that I've seen a lot of people use. Then moving on to Thursday, I started by using a glitter header, that blue one, and then I put down another um, heart checklist from Sticker Bloom. Um, I think those colors matched really perfectly with this kit, so I was really glad that I saved them when I used the kit back in, I want to say April? It was a while ago. Then I used an IEP sticker um, to mark another meeting that I had, but I decided to switch out the color because um, I felt like that day was a little bit too blue. Because at the end of the day, I did put down that full box with the blue uh, princess dress that I thought was really gorgeous. And then, you know what, I just decided to change up everything because I think I just didn't like how all the colors came together. And so what I did instead was I used that purple berry shade at the top with a to-do header and a, um, a half box to mark my IEP. And then I used that blue glitter header with the heart checklist underneath that. So I had like color blocking a little bit with the purples on top and then the blues underneath that. The gold foil remember headers are from Rose Color Days, and I just hauled those. I really like those stickers. And then for Friday, I started by using a full box at the very top. The TGIF sticker is from Little Red Prince, and then that bow gold foil sticker is from White Deer Stationery. And then I had two IEPs that day. It was a very, very busy week, um, lots of meetings. And the first one, I originally put down a pink IEP sticker. I switched that out for a dark blue one. And then I used a glitter header with a three heart checklist for my to-dos at the end of the day, I used a um, half box with an IEP sticker again for my second meeting. And then for the weekend, I started by using the um, blue glitter headers at the top, and then I laid down the weekend banner, which says once upon a weekend, and I love that so much because it goes perfectly with the fairy tale theme. So here is my week so far. Um, this is everything that I can pre-plan. And if you're new to my channel, I usually pre-plan everything that has to do with work before the, um, before the week begins. And then I go back in and memory plan the things that happen in my personal life, um, just so I can kind of keep track and it's a way to kind of journal the things that happen in my life. So on Monday, I filled in the name of the brewery that we went to and used a beer sticker from Dizzy Daisy Dreams. You guys probably know that by now because I use that sticker in like every single one of my spreads. Um, Tuesday, as I mentioned, there was no space to put in anything that I did after work, so I just move on to Wednesday. I used a half box to mark my first run in so long, um, probably like three or four weeks, and it actually felt really nice to be back out there. So um, I actually really enjoyed that. The shoe sticker is from Planning in Mint. I fill in my sidebar and then I go on to Thursday. For Thursday, I spent a chunk of time filming my plan with me, so I used a planner sticker from the Coffee Monsters Co. And then the film plan with me script sticker is from K Stickers Co. Then for Friday, I wanted to mark that at the end of the night, we watched some TV. We started the show called Mind Hunters, which is really interesting. It's on Netflix. If you're into like crime solving shows, you might like that. And then before that, or on top of that, I had a little bit of empty space. So I just put down a um, little packages icon and wrote happy mail because I did go to my PO box that afternoon and pick up some um, happy mail that I had gotten. And then moving on to Saturday, I put down a um, suitcase sticker to mark that I had a pack in the morning. We were heading out of town to celebrate a family member's um, birthday party. And so we just had to pack everything up. I used a half box to mark the road trip. That really, really cute car sticker is from Sticker Blush. And I've just been dying to use those because I think they're so adorable. Um, I haven't really seen a lot of car stickers that look like that, so I love those. Oh, and the suitcase sticker that I put at the top of the day is also from Sticker Blush. I then used a full box, and then underneath that, I used a quarter box to mark that I painted my nails. Um, that nail sticker is from Lemon Paper Co. And then at the end of the night, um, we basically just kind of hung out at the fire pit in the backyard and just kind of had some beers and chatted, and it was just really nice and relaxing, so I definitely wanted to mark that. Um, I used a Coffee Monsters Co. camping emoji. We weren't really camping, but there's a fire, so I figured, you know, that would do. And then I decided to switch up the um, 
packing area, I guess, because I felt like there was a lot of white space. So I just put stuff underneath. I don't know. I don't even know what I was thinking. It wasn't even a big deal or anything, but I just kind of wanted to fill up some of that space. Uh, for Sunday, I had some things I wanted to get done in the morning. So I put down a to do header with a three heart checklist not hearts, three square checklist uh, for my little tasks. And then I used a half box with some balloon stickers from Let's Make It Sparkle to mark the birthday party that we went to. And that was actually really fun. We had some brunch and it was really tasty and got to see some people we haven't seen in a while. So that was really great. And then at the end of the day, I decided to use a full box, um, the last full box that I had. And I had just a little bit of room above that. So I used a another heart uh, gold foil sticker from White Deer Stationery to mark that we had some family time just hanging out by the fire pit again. Um, it was kind of cooling down. The weather was nice and cold. So it was just honestly really lovely and such a great little relaxing weekend getaway for us. Um, so anyways, that is pretty much it for my entire spread. Um, right now I'm just filling in my sidebar and adding my dinners for the week. Um, I do decide to use some, um, what do you call them, date covers. I have these from Simply Watercolor Co. And I've been really excited to uh, find a chance to use them. I thought the gray, what do you call that, like a watercolor swatch. I thought this would go really well with this kit because it almost felt very foggy. And this like fairy tale theme kind of has that like foggy type of feeling to it. So I don't know. I thought it actually matched really, really well. And I, I really like doing that. So I'm just putting in my date dots right now. And that's pretty much it for my, my spread for this week and like I mentioned this is my first time using a photograph kit and I absolutely loved it I'm just showing you the stickers that I have left I use quite a bit because this is a mini kit so that worked really perfectly um, and yeah I absolutely love love loved using this kit so much and I, I knew I would love it but it definitely was a little bit of a challenge just because um, I don't know it was just a little you know the formats kind of different from what I'm used to and I definitely had to pull in some things for my collection to make it work but overall I think it turned out really nicely and I'm so so excited to use more photograph kits in the future um, I just love the look of it and how it comes together so thank you guys so much for watching I really hope you guys enjoyed this um, leave me a comment down below with like your thoughts on photograph kits like do you love them or are you not sure about them yet um, yeah I just really like this experience of putting this together so I kind of want to know what you guys think so do that for me subscribe to my channel if you're not already and yeah I will see you guys in my next video bye